Hello everyone. In this lecture, we will see regression analysis, especially regression coefficient by using deviation method. So, we have this same question which we have discussed in least square method. Uh, for the given data set, we have advertisement expenditure and sales data. And find regression relationship for sales on advertisement expenditure, this is y on x. And for advertisement expenditure on sales, x on y using least square method, which is already done. And now we are focusing on deviation method. So, we need to find two regression lines, first is y on x and second is x on y. And we have this data set for advertisement expenditure and second is sales. So, we have two forms for y on x and x on y relationship. This is y minus y bar is equal to b y x x minus x bar. And for x on y, this is x minus x bar is equal to b x y y minus y bar. So, this b y x term is known as regression coefficient y on x and this b x y considered as regression coefficient x on y. So, from this data set you can find x bar and y bar directly by using summation of x divided by n, summation of y divided by n. So, you can find these terms y bar x bar y bar x bar, but the main task is b y x and b x y. So, for this b y x and b x y we have three methods in terms of r, second by arithmetic mean, third by assume mean. So, in terms of r formula for b y x is r sigma y upon sigma x as this is y on x that is why we are taking sigma y in denominator part, numerator part and sigma x in numerator denominator part as y on x just like second floor based on first floor that is why we are taking sigma y on sigma x. And for b x y reverse of this, this is r sigma x upon sigma y. Now, second formula is based on arithmetic mean. So, for arithmetic mean first we will see the value of r, the value of sigma y, the value of sigma x. So, value of r in terms of this in terms of r this is and value of sigma x which is standard deviation of x column is this one and this is sigma y standard deviation of y column this one. Now, in formula of b y x in terms of r, r sigma y upon sigma x, if we will put value of r this one and we will put sigma y this one in formula and if we put sigma x then we can cancel out this under root n by this under root n and this under root summation uh, y minus y bar square by this. Now, the remaining terms are what? Remaining terms is summation this one x minus x bar y minus y bar and this under root and this same under root. So, under root into under root this quantity without under root. So, now you will see in, our, in correlation, you have both the terms of x and y in denominator, but in y on x regression coefficient, you have only the term of x in denominator. In same way, you can write b x y, b x y is x on y. So, in denominator, you will write the term of y only without under root. So, in terms in uh, for r, you have both the terms in under root term of x, term of y. In case of b y x only the term of x in denominator and in b x y only the term of y in denominator. Now, by assuming in assuming method formula for r is this one and we will use same concept as we have used in by arithmetic mean. So, first this numerator part is same for regression coefficient and correlation coefficient. And this first is y on x, so we are writing only the term of x. And this is 
based on y so we are writing only the term of y and in r you have both the terms so this is the math logic to understand uh, how to find byx and bxy now if you have data directly in form of correlation coefficient or a standard deviation then you can find you can apply these two formula otherwise if you have data in form of columns x column y column then you can choose either this one or this one especially this by arithmetic mean you will use when you have x bar and y bar are in integer form integer means without decimal and this last one you can use in any situation you can apply this first for a second formula also in any situation the number with decimal or without decimal but for ease of solution we will use only when x bar and y bar are in integer so now we have this question first we will find y on x relationship then we will find x on y relationship using deviation method So these are two forms. First is y on x, second is x on y. This is y minus y bar is equal to b by x, x minus x bar, and this is for x on y. Now first we will find x bar and y bar for the given data. So this is given data for this given data. This summation x is equal to fifty-five. This summation y is equal to ninety. So for this first data set. For this first column, x bar equals to summation x divided by n. This means you will get this as fifty-five upon five. This equals to eleven, and this y bar equals to ninety divided by five. So you will get eighteen. So this y bar is equal to eighteen, and this x bar is equal to eleven. So in this case, you have X bar and y bar are in integer form, so you can apply formula for b y x and b x y using arithmetic mean. The second one. And for these formula, your requirement is x minus x bar column. So this is x minus x bar column, and this is y minus y bar column. From first value of x, we will subtract this eleven. Uh, X bar, and from y we will subtract this 18 y bar, and then in formula your requirement is a square, so we will prepare two columns of a square. First is for x minus x bar a square, then this is y minus y bar a square for this b x y, and for numerator you need x minus x bar y minus y bar, so this is the product of this column and this column, and then this is summation. So this is the requirement. This is summation of x minus x bar square, and this is what summation of y minus y bar square, and this last column is as x minus x bar into y minus y bar. So now we can put all these values in formula. So you will see this b y x summation x minus x bar y minus y bar is this two zero seven. So we will put this two zero seven and this divided by x minus x bar square. This is one eighty eight. So you will get this value of b y x as one point one zero. We are taking two decimal places. And for this b x y. This summation is two zero seven, and this quantity divided by y minus y bar square that is what two forty two. So answer for b x y is zero point eight five. Now we will put these values. These values of b x by b y x and y bar x bar in these two equation. So from equation first, from equation first, 
by minus by bar by bar is this 18. So, we will put this as 18 and this equals to b y x b y x value is 1.10 and in bracket x minus x bar x bar equals to 11. On solving for y you will see this equation as 1.1 x plus 5.1 9 on solving this equation you will see and from this second one from this equation second you will see this relationship as x minus x bar this is x bar x bar equals to 11 and b x y is equal to 0 0.85 this is 8.5 and y minus by bar by bar is equal to what 18. So, on solving this equation for x, you will see this as 0.85y minus 4.3. So, we have these two relationship. This first relationship is required y on x relationship and this is x on y relationship. This is the first part of the question. This is first y on x and this second is x on y. Now you need to put advertisement expenditure as 25 and finding sales and second target sales is of 45 then you will find advertisement expenditure. So for this part in these two equations in this first equation we will put x is equal to 25 for this part we will put x is equal to 25 so you will see this y equals to 1.1 into 25 plus 5.9 then this become what this become 33.4 so, this is the value of sales when advertisement expenditure is of 25. Now, second point put y equals to 45, target sales is of 45. Now, you need to identify advertisement expenditure. So, this is 0 0.85 multiplied by 45 and minus 4.3. So, on solving you will see this x is equal to 33.95. This means if your target sale is of 45, then advertisement expenditure requirement is of 33.95. So, this is overall deviation method to find BYX and BXY. So, I hope you understand this concept. So, please like this video and subscribe my channel, Ganit Coach. Have a nice day. Thank you.